Okay, so in this part, we're going to mock up how we want our output to look. Before we start coding, we just want to make sure that we've got the uh, output in place. So we don't have to worry about that when it comes to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start completely from scratch. We're going to write a little bit of CSS just to space things out, particularly with the form on the poll page. But let's go ahead and start to do this. So I'm going to create a new file within my PHP poll directory. And this is going to be called index.php. This is where the polls are going to be output. So they're just going to be listed here. So at the moment, this is obviously blank. Um, I'm using Emmet just to speed up doing things like generating uh, an HTML5 doc layout. But you can just type all this out if you want to. Um, so what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to link in a style sheet. So this is basically just a rel attribute of style sheet. And that's going to link through to a CSS folder and main.css. So now that we've done that, let's create that style sheet. So we're going to create a new folder inside of here called CSS. And then in here, we're going to create a new file and obviously name that main.css. OK, so now that we've done that, let's um, mock up what we're going to see when we actually list the, the polls that we currently have available. All of our PHP code is going to go at the top here just to separate uh, what we're doing at the top from our sort of view, if you like. Uh, so that's where our code is going to go. Um, but in terms of polls, we're just going to display them in an unordered list. So inside of here, we're going to have list items. Now inside of each of these list items, we're going to have an anchor that's just going to link through to the poll. So this could be poll one, for example. And let's link this through to poll.php, which doesn't exist yet. And it's not going to be much use because we're not specifying which poll we want to see. Uh, but we'll do that in a moment. So poll two here as well. So we've got an unordered list, two list items, and obviously this will grow when it becomes dynamic. It just shows that you can click through poll one, poll two, um, and poll three, and whatever you have. So now let's create the actual poll page. This is going to be where we see the question, the options, and the, the submit button to actually submit the form. So this is a little bit trickier, but still there's not really too much involved here. So we're going to create poll.php. And again, we could probably just copy this and paste this in here. This is where our style sheet is going to come in because we're going to want to control how this form looks just to make sure it looks half decent. Uh, so when we display it to a user, it doesn't look all uh, inline and, and not very nice. OK, so in here, what we're going to do is we're going to create a div with a class of poll. And this just allows us to target uh, poll. If you're used to CSS, this this will be obvious to you. Um, and we're also going to create a div called poll question. This could probably be a header or something. It's probably best as an h1 tag or an h2 tag or whatever. Uh, but this is basically going to be the question. So I'm going to say this is the poll question. So let's just start to style this up. The form, by the way, is going to go down here. So we'll do that in just a moment. But we're going to style the poll container and the poll question to make that a little bit bolder. So inside of here, let's say poll. And we're basically going to give this 20 pixels padding and we're going to give this a little border. So one pixel solid and something like CCC, uh, maybe something, uh, you know, a little bit nicer. But that's basically how that looks. Um, what we're now going to do is we're going to start the poll question. So this is basically just going to say I want a font weight or bold. If you're using a specific font with uh, font weights, you can choose them. And we're going to have a margin bottom on this of 20 pixels. So the poll question will leave a little bit of room at the bottom, like so. So now we can actually start to add our form. This is the sort of the fun part where we're actually going to be able to submit this form uh, and obviously go through and actually vote. So inside of here, let's create a form. And this is going to have a method of post. So we basically have a form with an action. This is where the uh, data within this is submitted through to. This is vote.php. We haven't created this file yet. So let's just quickly create a new file here uh, and save this out as vote.php. This is going to be a pure PHP page. So we'll just add our PHP tag there. We'll close that off for now. So once this form is submitted, it's going to go through to post.php, sending this in the uh, uh, HTTP request body, not the URL. That's what post does. And inside of here more, Interestingly, we're going to have lots of poll options. So we're going to have poll options to contain this. And then in here, we're going to have 
poll option and we're going to have a few of them. So we'll create one of these just first. Uh, so inside of here we want an input and this is a type of radio. The name of this is going to be choice and so will the other inputs because that allows us to group them, uh, them together so more than one can't be selected. We are going to have a value here and this is going to be the choice ID. So for now let's just set that to 1. And this is also going to have an ID just to make it unique and we're going to say something like C1 and that will also be dynamic. So it'll be choice 1, choice 2, choice 3. So the label is going to be just after it. So we have a label element and this is going to be for C1, 2, 3, 4, 4, on and on. And this just means that this label corresponds to that particular radio. And this is going to be the choice in here. So we're going to say choice one, for example. So what we can actually do is we can duplicate this code here. So if we do that a few times, uh, we can change this to choice two and we can change this to choice three. This will become two and three. These, these are the actual choice ID, whereas these are incrementing from one. So this could be choice 20, it could be choice 35, whereas these will always be C1, C2, and C3, and these will be targeted at C2, C3 as well. So hopefully that makes sense. Let's just check out how this looks. Okay, so it doesn't look too bad. We can perhaps uh, make a few style adjustments here. So let's do that now. So I'm going to say poll options, and basically what this is going to do is just give this a margin on the bottom. And then for each poll option, we're going to give this a margin bottom of 10 pixels. That's all the styling that we need. So let's close that off. And that's just space things out a little bit. So we now need a button to actually be able to submit this form. That's really, really important. So down here, just after the last or the div for the options, we're going to have an input type. And this time it's obviously submit. Um, we are going to have a value here, which is basically just the text displayed to the user. So submit answer. And then down here, we need an input, uh, which is hidden or a hidden input field. And the reason for this is we need to identify when we submit this request, which poll we are submitting this for. So in this case, we're just going to have an input type of hidden. The name of this is going to be poll and the value of this is going to be one, two, three or whatever the poll ID is. So now we've got our button here to submit our answer. When we hit that, it goes through to vote.php. So what's that's, what that's going to do when it does go through to vote.php is it's going to um, basically detect which choice was made. It's going to submit through the poll ID as well and then we can actually determine which poll it is. Uh, if you want to sort of find out more about how this works, you can change the uh, the request type to the vote.php file to a get request. And then if you hit choice one, for example, or even choice two and submit it, you can see here that we get choice of 20 because that was the uh, value and then poll one. So that's pretty much how things work, except with post it's sent in the request body. So that is basically the front end. We've done all that we need. Uh, we have an index page which lists our polls out and then we have the actual poll question, the choices and the ability to submit an answer. So now that we've done that, done that, we can sort of uh, focus away fr from this onto the actual PHP code that's going to make this work. So let's go ahead and uh, do that in the next part.